the Super Bowl 80 you must watch of the flow of expensive ads streaming into our living rooms courtesy of this Sunday's Super Bowl XLIX. There's one commercial that I hope all 100 million viewers watch carefully. It's only 30 seconds long. The visuals pan the inside of a family's house with a few pictures of kids on the walls. The dialogue is simple. A woman orders pizza from a 911 operator. After a moment of frustration, the dispatcher catches on that this woman is in trouble, and pretending to order pizza from 911 is the only way she can call the police. This commercial, created by the advocacy group No More, is the only TDAD that has ever made me bury my head in my hands and so be Listening to the woman ask for help reminded me of the two policemen who came to my home 23 years ago when my abusive husband choked me and beat me so severely I thought he would kill me. With the recent controversy over Baltimore Ravens running back Ray Rice and San Francisco's Ray McDonald alleged sexual assault of a woman, the NFL badly needs some good PR when it comes to violence against women. The league has not historically taken abuse by players seriously. According to the USA Today NFL Rest Database, there have been 89 family violence rests of NFL players since January 2000, making domestic violence the worst crime category within the NFL. In the first few weeks of 2015, one NFL player, New Orleans Jr. Gaylett, was arrested for alleged assault of a woman in his home. He denied the allegation. But the bigger problem isn't going away. The NFL's refusal to understand domestic violence and punish offenders obviously needs to change. Although the league deserves polite applause for using the most watched sporting event of the year to raise awareness about domestic violence, one powerful lady isn't going to solve the problem. The NFL seems committed to penalizing domestic violence perpetrators through its new personal conduct policy. It has hired domestic violence advocates such as Cynthia Hogan, one of the original authors of the Congress 1993 Violence Against Women Act. But there are easy things we can all do to end domestic violence. The first, learn how complex and cold-blooded abuse island intimate partner abuse has nothing to do with testosterone or playing or watching sports. It doesn't even necessarily have anything to do with being male. Relationship abuse is a systematic pattern of psychological and slash or physical domination, perpetrated by both men and women at alarming rates across all ethnicities, income levels, educational degrees, religions and nationalities. Relationship violence is one of our society's most common under-reported and under-prosecuted felony crimes.